Hello, this is your girl Kay Gaines with the second part of this comic book effect tutorial. And in the first part, we went ahead and we used Illustrator to live trace this. And we used Photoshop to kind of color it in, just a flat color, to make this guy here look like this guy here. And I think we did a pretty good job so far. And what I want to do next is I just want to show you how to make this kind of crazy background. Okay? So, if you have already done the first part of the tutorial, you should have your second image up. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make a quick wallpaper. Go to Presets, go to Web, and you can pick any one of these that you want. I'm going to pick 1280 by 1024. And that's just going to bring it up like so. And in the last tutorial, I told you how to make a folder so that all your layers are in the same spot. So that you don't have to merge layers or any of that. And I want you to take that and drag it into this new untitled document. And I'm going to have to zoom out real quick. It's pretty neat. So far. In, in real life, I'd probably keep something like that. I like that. But I'm just going to scale it down to something that's reasonable, manageable. And we're going to get started on this comic book effect. What I want you to do is I want you to get your pen tool once again. And what I'm going to do is we're going to make this little jagged, crazy background here. I want you to pick a color, any color. I'll use red. I don't like that color. I like that red. And what you're going to do is you're kind of going to go crazy um, here. You're going to come here and just kind of go back and forth with this kind of thing. Think of like Spider-Man and Batman and while you're doing this, you can sing theme songs and all that kind of stuff. But you just kind of want to make something like this that's really crazy. It doesn't have to have a whole lot of shape and form to it. Um, but this is how I'm going to do mine. And I'm not going to let mine go past his head. Uh, I'm going to bring this underneath that face folder I showed you. And that's kind of it. Mine isn't as intricate as his. Partly because I'm, I'm not 100% sure what I would like to do with this other than make it look crazy. So, that's the first part. Um, for the second part, we're going to use like this black color here. As a matter of fact, I want you to use the same color that is used here, which is not quite black coming out of Illustrator. So I'm just going to pick this color here and do the same thing, but do it smaller and kind of follow the same path here. So, follow along here what you have. Try to get out as much as possible uh, without doing something different. You don't want to... If you don't like one, just push Command or Control Z, and what you'll what it'll do is it'll just delete that anchor point, and that one isn't good either. So I'm gonna show you how to go back, and I'm just not doing a good job at the end here. I'm gonna just show you how to go back and figure it out. What I would use again is this direct selection tool, and I don't like that one because it it, it moves over. So you just want to select your anchor point and, and move it over. And you can do that with all of these. If you don't like how far out it's stretched or if you want to bring it back in or bring it out a little more, you can just play with all of these and figure out what it is that you like. And again, put this underneath your face folder on top of the red one. And... So far, you kind of got the same looking thing here. Um, 
Now they do have sheards on the outside, so you might want to revert back to your red and just kind of go back over it and do that kind of thing. And you don't have to use red and you don't have to do the shards. I mean, you don't have to even make this kind of crazy effect. You can make a circle. You can do whatever it is you like. I just encourage you to do as much experimentation as you would like. And what I'm going to do now is to kind of make sure that the body part is, is not outside of these. I'm going to select my... I'm going to command or control select this vector mask for the black part. Like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my face folder. You don't have to open anything up, and I'm just going to create a layer mask. And as you can see, it just makes sure everything fits inside of this. Now, I want my head to peek back out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a paintbrush, a hard one, and I'm just going to paint back on, on the top here so that the head sticks back out. Okay? And... So far, you got something that looks pretty pretty similar. It's not as intricate. You can get as intricate as you would like, but something like this is is I think I think is very close. And the last thing I'm gonna show you is how to make this stroke and this drop shadow. So go back to your original shape layer. You can control or command click the red, or you can just find it. And we're going to put some layer effects on it. And I want you to click your effects button at the bottom of your layer palette and go to stroke. And I think three or five is usually kind of bold enough for me. Um, and of course you want to use the same black that you've been using. And I'm going to go with three. You can go with whatever you want. You know, whatever you like. But I'm going to go with three here. And then I'm going to go to drop shadow. And I'm going to turn my opacity up. I'm going to make it normal. And again, I'm going to change this black color to the right color. And what I want you to do, I want you to first play with the distance so that you can see what you got going on. Okay. I want you to bring your size up. I want you to bring your spread all the way up. And I want you to play around with the size and see what it is that you like. Once again. And comparing this, I think this looks good. Uh, play with your distance. You might want it farther away. You may want it closer. I think this is pretty good. Um, actually, I want it a little bit farther away. A little bit more depth. And push OK. And that is that. The, to put it on the little shards, what you want to do is right-click your shape layer and go to copy layer style and you want to select all your little extra shards and what you want to do is you want to click one and shift click the rest of them so that the rest of them are selected and you want to right click these and you want to paste the layer style and what it should do is it should paste the same layer style that you have here and you kind of have the same thing going on. I mean, if you want it to look the exact same, grab yourself a gray background, color that in, and you have your effect, your comic book effect. And feel free to play around with it. As you can see, you have a little bit of a white line here. I'm not going to worry about that too much, but when you erase things, you're going to have to, you know, tend to this kind of thing. And the best way to do it, I, I've realized, is just to select the whole 
thing and contract it using the select tool, modify it, contract it by one pixel, and just erase that one pixel. And everything will kind of look better for you. But as, as far as the effect goes, this is pretty much it. And um, I'm K Games, and I have showed you how to make a quick comic book effect.